If you want a build that can pass like white chocolate, throw lobs like Chris Paul, shoot middies like DeMar DeRozan, shoot from three like Dame Dalla, and win games in Park, Rec, and Pro-Am, then you clicked on the right video. Let's jump into it. Hey there everyone, welcome to Utility Sports and I've been playing a lot of NBA 2K24 since the game dropped and I'm finally releasing my build video here. Now listen, I don't do a lot of NBA 2K content historically, but I'm looking to get a little bit more into it and I think this is a great starting point with my NBA 2K24 build. We're gonna go through the builder, break down every single aspect of my build that I'm using this year. And by the way, I'm winning over 80% of my games. Do play some games with randoms, play a good amount of games with my friends, uh, and we're quite good this year. So I feel like my build is very, very good. It's a little atypical compared to what most people are running right now in 2K24, but I think it's very, very, very good. And I think it's something that is going to be very reliable for you if you're looking to play point guard, which is what my build is. So let's jump into it here. Of course, when you get into the game, you wanna to go to uh, the create your own section. My player's name is always Malik Sparks. Uh, I do a little bit of a role play kind of with one of my buddies. Um, and I went and made my number 11, okay? So pick your name, whatever you want, whatever number you want, whatever handedness you prefer. I like my right-handed players. So I went with number 11 as well, right-handed. And now position, you could technically make this at shooting guard. That is something you could theoretically do, but I wouldn't recommend it. Make a six foot four point guard because you want to be playing point guard with this build anyway. And we're going to actually increase the weight here a little bit. That's a very important aspect of this build. The weight is a little bit bigger. Now, most people tend to min weight, especially at point guard. You think, oh, I want to have the speed, the acceleration. You're still going to get that on this build to the level you need it at. See so many people kind of not make their build correctly and they end up making their player way smaller, way lighter than they have to be. And it actually hurts them on the defensive end. So for this build, you're going to go to a 215 pounds. Um, very important to get to that 215 number. There's a specific reason why once we lessen the wingspan, we'll talk about that or actually increase the wingspan, excuse me. The wingspan here starts at six foot nine. You think, oh, that's a pretty good wingspan. We're actually going to increase it here. You see me playing around with it a little bit. Go up to a six foot 11 wingspan. You'll notice the badges on the right do change. There's some things that do alter, but six foot four point guard, 215 pounds, a six foot 11 wingspan. I lab this build for a long time and I'm very, very happy with the way it's turned out. We're gonna go down to the playmaking first of all. Of course, if you wanna play point guard, you have to have pass accuracy. Now, most people are running with about an 87 pass accuracy because of the requirements for bailout. Some people play with 89. Um, very rarely do you see people into the 90s though, and that's one of the beauties of this build because as we increase it here, you're going to see exactly where we get to. I'm up to a 95 currently as we are constituted at this point. Now look at the badges we get. Gold bailout, gold dimer, gold needle threader, Hall of Fame relay passer, which you get at 95, I believe. Hall of Fame special delivery, Hall of Fame touch passer, Hall of Fame break starter. All looks really good, right? We're gonna go up one more click here. You see me playing around with 94. 96 gives us Hall of Fame dimer. That is essential for this build. Again, I play like a floor general. I'm going to be the pure point guard. I run all of the sets. I handle the basketball. I take care of the basketball. And I'm averaging over 12 assists a game right now in Pro-Am. And my team is really, really good this year. Again, we're winning about 80% of our games. This is a must. 96 pass accuracy is a must if you want to be a true floor general point god like the build video here says you have to have 96 pass accuracy. It's really good. Again, looking at all the badges, multiple Hall of Fame badges, gold bailout's pretty nice as well. Then you go on to ball handle and you're gonna see 92 ball handles where I'm at currently. That gets you gold unpluckable. Very, very good to have. But one really important thing, when you go up past 92 ball handle and you go up to 93 ball handle, you get Hall of Fame ankle breaker. You'll be seeing some clips here of some ankle breakers that I've been getting. Uh, all in all, the playmaking aspect is super important. Now you don't wanna go up to 94, doesn't really do you much good, but at 93, you also get gold killer combos. That is super important as well for this build. I'm gonna go back to that right here. Again, you see silver to gold. So gold killer combos, Hall of Fame ankle breaker at 93 ball handle. You're gonna get all of the signature animations you want other than Steve Francis. Uh, we'll have my animations in this video as well. 
Uh, and so far what you're seeing is some ankle breaker clips. You're seeing kind of some of the animations I can get, my ability to create some shots. We'll talk about that a little bit later as well. But then you're also seeing some of the passes. Look at the velocity that my guy passes with. Look at the ability to throw lobs. Look at the full court passes. Look at the flashy passes. This build can do it all in terms of its ability to pass the basketball. Now, every once in a while, you're going to have a moment where your guy throws the ball out of bounds and you're like, what the heck's the point of 96 pass accuracy? Well, the point of it is more often than not, it's going to deliver not only a good pass that's accurate, but the pass gets there so fast. The pass velocity on this build is ridiculous, which is what I really love. For some of my Indiana Pacers fans on the channel, kind of likened to Tyrese Halliburton a little bit. Uh, of course, you'll probably have seen Chris Paul in the thumbnail if I don't change my plan for it. But then you see the driving layup. At 74, you get gold giant slayer. That's obviously uh, a nice little badge to have if you're making a six foot four point guard. And you also pick up bronze whistle in the process. We're gonna get whistle up a little bit higher though later uh, as we go down to the next category we wanna work on, which is our shooting and we're gonna max out the shooting on this build from the three-point line. We're going to go up to 93 pointer. You notice that gets us Hall of Fame comeback kid, gold green machine, gold guard up, gold space creator. Uh, we have gold corner specialist, gold open looks, whistle goes up to silver, catch and shoots at gold as well. This is a really strong build from the perspective of its ability to shoot the three ball. You get gold blinders, which is one of the big differences between 89 and 90. Three pointer that's definitely worth going up to 94, especially if you're someone who looks to crab uh, or shoot any type of contested shots. I do a bit and blinders is awesome. Blinders are really, really useful. Um, free throw, you're gonna end up going up to a 91. Now you might be saying, why 91? You get gold free points at 90. The reason to go up to 91 most other people are gonna put their free throw at 90 if they want gold free points. So if you put it to 91 and you're playing rack and you wanna shoot some of those transition take free throws, that's the best way to do it. We're gonna then bump up our speed with ball going back to the playmaking. I wanted you guys to see that. We're gonna go up to an 83 speed with ball. Now that's going to set us up for some of those important badges, blow by, speed booster, triple strike. So when we go down to our acceleration here in a minute, you're gonna see us jump forward with what our badges are. Up to silver blow by and now up to gold. Gold triple strike, gold slippery off ball. And then at 87 acceleration, which is exactly why I went with this weight, you max out 87 excel, you get gold speed booster. Again, you see it go up right here, gold speed booster. Um, really good badge, it makes your guy a lot quicker when handling the basketball. It's an absolute must for a point guard build. Now you might be saying, wow, 91 potential overall currently out of your 99. Haven't even touched defense yet. You haven't touched any finishing. Your speed's not maxed. You don't even have stamina. You don't have any strength. You don't have any vertical. This build doesn't look very good. This is the beautiful thing about this build. We get some really cheap upgrades here coming up. We're gonna bump our speed up to two. Gets a silver hyperdrive. That's a nice little boost uh, for us with our dribble moves. We'd love to have more speed on this build. Just didn't find a way that it made a lot of sense. We max the stamina here up to 99, gets us gold handles for days. Again, you're playing point guard, you have to be able to handle the basketball. Um, and just some of the shots that we're able to uh, make on this build with the shooting is really, really great. Go up to the strength here now at this spot. We are bumping up our strength. Notice you have to have a decent strength rating for clamps. We'll get to our defense here in a second. But physical handles was a really interesting badge for me when I made this. I wanted to be able to handle the ball against strong lockdown defenders. And that's why I went up to 73 strength, which is the point of the 215 pounds on this build. With a 6'11 wingspan, you're still really lengthy, but you have a good amount of strength here too still, 73 strength. We didn't really sacrifice any of the speed or excel we were hoping to have as long as we still have gold speed booster. I was very, very happy with that. And we got the strength up to a spot where we're gonna get that gold physical handles. Now you might be saying, okay, you're up to a 93 overall here, still haven't touched defense. That's where we're going next. And this build can defend. It does a very nice job of staying in front of people. You notice we're already up to 82 perimeter defense. We're getting some of these badges on the right here. Off ball pass, workhorse, pick dodger. All of these badges are starting to go up a little bit. Notice where I go with some of these. So to get uh, gold challenger, you have to have 87 perimeter defense. So let's go get there. 87 perimeter defense gives us gold challenger. It also gives us gold workhorse. I really loved having workhorse on my build. It helps with rebounding the basketball, running two uh, loose balls. It's a really great badge. Um, noticing some of the other 
areas. It's gonna be impossible to get this build up to a 92 perimeter defense, which is where I would like to go, maybe even 93 perimeter defense for gold clamps. Just can't really get there, but I did want 94 feet. He only had to go up one more defensive rating for that from the perimeter to get gold 94 feet. I end up picking up a lot. Remember, I'm a point guard, so I'm guarding the other team's point guard oftentimes. I pick up full court. We run an extended 2-3 zone in Pro-Am. I pick up a ton in 94 feet situations, and that's a really great badge to have. It really helps me pester the other team's ball handler. And then 98 potential overall so far, but I wanted to be able to get some stops on the inside as well. I'm not a huge defender. Again, I'm only six foot four, but I'm pretty strong. 73 strength, and I've got a six foot 11 wingspan. This 65 interior defense actually does go a long way in getting some stops on the inside when I play hands up defense. And then to wrap things up, again, I got cold, gold unpluckable, you saw, and we're gonna go with 55 standing dunk. You'll see a screenshot here of what that allows you to get in the dunk creator uh, situation. You're able to create standing dunks. You're, you're able to get standing dunks in your dunk creator package which actually does come in handy. You'll see a couple of clips in here of my guy getting a couple of dunks. And you don't really expect that from a six foot four point guard to be able to throw down a standing dunk. It's actually really, really useful if you cut and the ball hits you late. Well, look, you're gonna get a standing dunk. And the whole point of this build, look, I know people are gonna say, oh, it doesn't have driving dunk. The point of this build is to play predominantly pro-am. If you're playing with an inside big, you don't need to run at the rim and dunk. You have someone in there typically to be finishing off some of those plays anyway. The point of this build is to be able to finish advantage opportunities when you end up being open in some of those situations. 74 driving layup, you're going to make open layups. You'll see some clips in here. 55 standing dunk, you're going to be able to get some standing dunk animations when you need them in tight scenarios. But really, the thing I love about this build is it's just a really good offensive build because you're able to knock down threes. You can hit mid-range jump shots. I feel like that's where I thrive most of the time. I love shooting mid-range fadeaways um, and leaners. I, I, it's really where my game fits best, so I would have loved to get my mid-range up a little bit more. 93-pointer uh, is really good. You have silver agent threes. You're able to hit movers in the corner specifically um, above the break. You know, this game's a little bit more difficult to time jump shots on, but at the end of the day, I feel like I've still been hitting a good amount of mine, especially as a primary ball handler. Um, typically, you're gonna have lesser efficiency when you're trying to be a passer. I feel like I've still been very efficient, both facilitating the ball because of my high pass accuracy, high ball handle, but also because of my high three-point rating at 90. I would love to have that a little bit higher too, but I wanted to be able to be a good defensive player. I feel like this build is able to score on all three levels. I think it's a really reliable shooting build, which I think a lot of people are typically looking for, especially to play point guard. And the most important thing, what really separates this build from everyone else's build in the game, 96 pass accuracy. Again, you're gonna be seeing more clips. My guy throws lobs, my guy can dime from half court, my guy throws full court passes, better than any other build you're gonna see in the entire game. This is, in my opinion, the best passing build out there. Um, you're able to get all the elite dribble moves, you're able to do everything that you really wanna do uh, when it comes to scoring, facilitating, uh, and just honestly being a great point guard. And that's the entire point of this build. It's a point god build. I honestly feel like Chris Paul, Tyrese Halliburton, John Stockton when I'm playing with this build. I have so much fun. Our team wins a lot of games. I put up big numbers. And we'll go on to see the build name now. Of course, I'm sure a lot of you are excited about that. But 55 standing dunk is the rating you have to get to. Um, for some of those better animations and just kind of triggering it a little bit more frequently. But when we go on here to see who I'm kind of compared to, now listen, some of the shades of aren't super exciting. The first guy you're gonna see is Kirk Heinrich. You're also gonna see Darius Garland and Trey Young. Garland and Trey Young are two players that are fun to see comparisons of. Uh, Heinrich a little bit less so, but uh, you know maybe that fits the bill a little bit for me. Uh, and then when it comes to the actual build name, I really like this one you get a three point playmaker, which is pretty good. So um, I've had a lot of fun with this build. I win a lot of games. I feel like it's been really, really good for me. You've been seeing some of the clips throughout and it's just honestly a great build. The passing, the shooting, the defense, it does everything I want it to do, especially if you're planning on playing a team oriented style of game. Now, if you're playing with randoms, maybe a six foot six, you know, whatever is better for you. But at the end of the day, for me, this accomplishes everything I want to do and I win a lot with it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more NBA content and NBA 2K content. We'll have more content like this coming out. 
hit that thumbs up button and we'll catch you in the very next utility sports video.